Day 18. Receiving Your Prosperity Are you a magnet for miracles, money, prosperity, and abundance? Today you learn how you can be when you open yourself to receiving. This is a good time to go back and look at the notes you wrote in your journal when you first started this course. Do you see how much you have learned? Can you see how much more comfortable you are with saying your affirmations in front of the mirror? You are a magnet for miracles. Do you believe that you are also a magnet for money, prosperity, and abundance? There is so much abundance in the world just waiting for you to experience it. There is more money than you could ever spend. There is more joy than you could ever imagine. There are more people than you could ever meet. If you fully understood this, you would realize that you have everything you need and desire. The power within us is willing to give us our fondest dreams and enormous abundance in an instant. Are you open to receiving it? If you want something, the universe doesn't say, I'll think about it. It readily responds and sends it through. However, you must be open and ready in order to receive it. I have noticed that sometimes when people come to my lectures, they sit with their arms folded across their chests. How are they going to let anything in? It is a wonderful gesture to open your arms wide so that the universe notices and responds. I invite you to do that right now. Stand up, open your arms, and say, I am open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe. Now shout it from the rooftops for everyone to hear. Prosperity can mean many things. Money, love, success, comfort, beauty, time, knowledge. You create prosperity by talking and thinking about your abundance. You cannot create prosperity by talking or thinking about your lack. When you concentrate on lack, it only creates more lack. Poverty thinking brings more poverty. Gratitude thinking brings more abundance. Your mirror work is a very powerful tool that will help bring more prosperity into your life. When you allow the abundance of the universe to flow through your experiences, you can receive everything you desire. All it takes is practice and your mirror. Whatever you give out comes back to you, always. If you take from life, then life will take from you. It's that simple. You may feel that you do not steal, but are you counting the paper clips and stamps you are taking home from the office? Are you a person who steals time or robs others of respect? All these things are telling the universe, I don't really deserve the good in life. I have to sneak it, steal it. Be aware of the beliefs that may be blocking the flow of money and prosperity in your life. Then use your mirror work to change those beliefs and create new, abundant thinking. The best thing you can do if you are having money problems is to develop prosperity thinking. There are two prosperity affirmations I have used for many years that work well for me. They will work for you too. They are, my income is constantly increasing, and I prosper wherever I turn. When something good comes into your life, say yes to it. Open yourself to receiving good. Say yes to your world. Opportunities and prosperity will increase a hundredfold. Once a day, stand with your arms open wide and say with joy, I am open and receptive to all the abundance in the universe. Thank you, life. Life will hear you and respond. Let's affirm. Life supplies all my needs in great abundance. I trust life. Your Day 18 Mirror Work Exercise 1. Today your mirror work is going to focus on receiving your prosperity. Stand up with your arms outstretched and say, I am open and receptive to all good. 2. Now look into the mirror and say it again. 
I am open and receptive to all good. Let the words flow from your heart. I am open and receptive to all good. 3. Repeat this affirmation ten more times. 4. Notice how you feel. Do you feel liberated? Do this exercise every morning until the end of your mirror work course. It's a wonderful way to increase your prosperity consciousness. The Power is Within You, your Day 18 Journaling Exercise 1. What are your beliefs about money? Go back to the mirror. Look into your eyes and say, My biggest fear about money is... Fill in your fear. Write down your answer and why you feel this way. 2. What did you learn about money as a child? How were finances handled in your family? How do you handle money now? Write your thoughts down. Do you see any patterns? 3. Now do some journaling to shift yourself into prosperity thinking. Write down what it would be like to have all the things you have always wanted. What would they be? What would your life look like then? Where would you travel? What would you do? Feel it. Enjoy it. Be creative and have fun. Your heart thought for day 18. I am a yes person. I know that I am one with all life. I am surrounded by and permeated with infinite wisdom. Therefore, I rely totally on the universe to support me in every positive way. Everything I could possibly need is already here, waiting for me. This planet has more food on it than I could possibly eat. There is more money than I could ever spend. There are more people than I could ever meet. There is more love than I could possibly experience. There is more joy than I can even imagine. This world has everything I need and desire. It is all mine to use and to have. The one infinite mind, the one infinite intelligence, always says yes to me. No matter what I choose to believe or think or say, the universe always says yes. I do not waste my time on negative thinking or negative subjects. I choose to see myself and life in the most positive ways. I say yes to opportunity and prosperity. I say yes to all good. I am a yes person living in a yes world, being responded to by a yes universe, and I rejoice that this is so. I am grateful to be one with universal wisdom and backed by universal power. Your Day 18 Meditation Receiving Prosperity You can never create prosperity by talking about or thinking about your lack of money. This is wasted thinking and cannot bring you abundance. Dwelling on lack only creates more lack. Poverty thinking brings more poverty. Gratitude thinking brings abundance. There are a few attitudes and affirmations that are guaranteed to keep prosperity beyond reach. Resenting other people for the amount of money they have just puts up a wall between you and your own flow. And negative affirmations like, there is never enough money, and money goes out faster than it comes in, represent poverty thinking of the worst kind. The universe can respond only to what you believe about yourself and about life. Examine whatever negative thoughts you have about money, and then decide to let them go. They have not served you well in the past, and they will not serve you well in the future. You can buy an occasional lottery ticket for fun, but do not put a lot of attention into winning the lottery and thinking that will solve your problems. This is scarcity thinking and will not create lasting good. Winning the lottery seldom brings positive changes in anyone's life. In fact, most lottery winners lose almost all their winnings within the first two years 
and are often worse off financially than before they won. If you think that winning the lottery will solve all of your problems, you are greatly mistaken, because it doesn't involve changing your consciousness. In effect, you are saying to the universe, I don't deserve to have good in my life except by a fluke. If you change your thinking and allow the abundance of the universe to flow through your experience, you can have all the things you think the lottery can bring you. And you will be able to keep them, because they will be yours by right of consciousness. Affirming, declaring, deserving, and allowing are the steps to attracting riches far greater than you could ever win in a lottery. Open your consciousness to new ideas about money, and it will be yours. If you want to bring more money and prosperity into your life, repeat these affirmations with feeling. I am a magnet for money. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. At work, I am deeply appreciated and well compensated. I live in a loving, abundant, harmonious universe, and I am grateful. I am open to the unlimited prosperity that exists everywhere. The law of attraction brings only good into my life. I move from poverty thinking to prosperity thinking, and my finances reflect this change. Good comes to me from everywhere and every one. I express gratitude for all the good in my life. Each day brings wonderful new surprises. I pay my bills with love, and I rejoice as I write out each check. Abundance flows freely through me. I deserve the best, and I accept the best now. I release all resistance to money and allow it to flow joyously into my life. My good comes from everywhere and everyone.